Hey guys, Cool1177 here, and today I uh, recently purchased a 35 pound blind uh, Lego selection here. So it was just a giant tub, 35 pounds of Legos, 65 bucks. It was a pretty good deal actually. Uh, and for what I'm going to show you guys today, I think it was really worth it. So I got some rare stuff, some less seen items in current Lego production. There's also some stuff that I personally don't have, so if you have some of this stuff, let me know. Um, also, the rules for this uh, series is it can't be a sticker, unless it's a super rare sticker. It can't be in a coloration that, like, it already is in. So, like, if it was a wheel, it can't be in that normal gray in order to be considered rare. So, let's just jump into what uh, I found. So, we've got these drill pieces here uh, used in the miners now. Uh, they're black. Uh, sometimes they come in gray, but these are in these really weird uh, olive green color, which is kind of weird. I also got two of those. I'm not really sure on any of these prices, guys, so please uh, don't harass me in the comments we've got these red uh, almost like construction pieces i don't know how new these are actually they might actually be really new i'm not so sure the logoing looks pretty new but i feel like it's kind of rare i think this is from a lego movie set but i could be wrong uh but i th i think they're rarer pieces uh and i got five of those so that was cool i was i'm hoping to find another one uh, i haven't gone through all of it yet so Stay tuned for that. Um, and then I've got these wheels here. Also from the miners, they come in gray. These are in orange, which are an odd color to see in Lego in general. A lot of people don't own oranges, pinks, and purples are what I tend to see not as much. Uh, so I'm actually really happy to see these in orange. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for yet, but I am happy to see them in an orange color. Nice and bright. Uh, might use that for kind of a funkier vehicle then we've got these catapults i know they're not the rarest things you guys probably have some they're in two different shades here i didn't notice that until i was filming this today we've got a darker brown and like a normal brown they also seem to be uh slightly bigger on one and smaller on the other so i don't know uh if one's older than the other i think this one here is older than uh the lighter one but I could be completely wrong. Then I've got these pieces. I'm not quite sure what these are necessarily used for. Uh, in the fact that they come in white now, but they're circular. And I still don't really understand what they're used for most of the time. These are in brown, so I have a feeling they were used for a pirate set. Uh, but I'm not really sure what these were used for uh, at all. And I got two of those. Then we've got this cockpit piece here. This is from a Star Wars set, I know. Um, one of the earlier Star Wars sets. It might actually be after 2000. I think they reused it. But this one looks like an older one. Not much to say about it. Only got one of these. I was actually kind of surprised to see it in there in general. Alright. We've got this blaster piece. And now a lot of you might be like wondering what it actually is. You might see this a lot in dark gray and light gray those are what the more common ones are used for but i've never keyword never seen any transparent clear here and this is this is lego by the way there's no counterfeit or anything on it so that's that's pretty incredible these pieces are kind of odd to me i know they're old uh, because i've never seen them before it's kind of like showing the fake building strategy, uh, the ability to place a piece in between studs, but now it's centered and everything. I got three of these. I think there might be more in the bin, but I feel like these are a pretty good selection for them. These wheels are very old, actually. Lego does not make these wheels anymore, I can assure you of that. We've got them in a lot of colors, yellow, gray white, black, and a blue one back here. We've got quite a bit of those. Um, again, I don't know how much these ones are worth, necessarily. 
Alright, we're going on to the minifigure stuff. This one's not as rare, I just don't personally have it. Uh, it's a Battle Axe. They are older sets, uh, earlier 2000s. I think they were even before that, but there's that. You've seen the backpack in brown, especially if we got Indiana Jones sets. This one's in gray, not really sure what, like, era and stuff that is from... I do think it is before 2000, though, so I'll have to look that one up. You may see these in the Arctic line in black. It turns out Lego made them before the Arctic line in this gray coloration, stud underneath. It, it's really cool. I actually like this one more than the Arctic black ones. Um, I don't know why. just looks really cool. This is probably the weirdest piece I got in this all. A battle axe, I want to call it. It's just, it, it does fit in a Lego figure's hand. But the weird part is, is that there's this uh, stud hole here. That you just press a stud into. I'm not really sure why, what set this is from, or how much it's worth. Uh, I couldn't find it online at all. I'll have to look harder, I guess. Um, it It's a cool piece. It really is. And then there is this figure. Uh, this is how he actually is. I made him a little gun, though. He's got his light green visor. The smiley face print is actually shrunk in more than the um, current ones. The current ones are more expanded on their face just slightly. There is a slight difference, though. And then I made him this little gun here. He does have a little black air tank on the back, which does currently come in yellow. And now probably the most absurd pieces I found in this entire haul for today. These spring-loaded pieces. These things are really weird to me. Uh, you can push these up and down here. And I'm not really sure why. And I got two of those. I think they were mainly used for Technic things uh, in the earlier 2000s, maybe late uh, 90s. And then we've got Lego Suspension. You don't see Legos very much with suspension, but it looks like Lego tried at one point. And this is what they got. Got two springs on the side here that can go either way. Here's it on its wheels so that you can see. It would, it would really make it suspended. Uh, I feel like it's unnecessary, but it is a really cool piece. I've never seen it before until now. So, guys, that's it for today on the channel. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. And if you haven't already, click subscribe. If you want more of this, leave a comment down below that you want more of these LEGO hauls. And I'll be trying to do another stop-motion tutorial soon. So check out that next time, guys. See you later.